There's accumulating evidence that there's more and more people abusing Xanax and Clonopin and Valium and other benzodiazepines. And I just read an article that said there's an 800% increase in deaths that are attributed to benzodiazepines, undoubtedly because they're often combined with opioids. And so just as the opioid crisis appears to be at its peak and maybe is starting to go down, people are starting to find other drugs to abuse. And of course, we've seen that pattern over and over the years. I'm actually giving a talk here at the office uh, to the community tomorrow on Wednesday the 27th at 6 p.m. on benzodiazepines and how they are a problem, uh, where they are useful and where they're not and how they work and how they intersect with the whole drug industry. Um, and so that'll be interesting. Feel free to come down if you're in Richmond. Um, but benzodiazepines have been around for a long time. They have been uh, were invented uh, back in the 50s and 60s with drugs like Librium and Valium. And at one point, of course, they were regarded as very, very safe and uh, non-addictive. And, uh, you know, there's even a song by the Rolling Stones called Mother's Little Helper, which was basically about the you know, fact that these drugs could help every housewife uh, uh, and just get through her day a little bit easier. Uh, and they were liberally prescribed by doctors so that Valium was the number one drug prescribed at some point, I think in the 60s. And then of course, lo and behold, we find they're addictive and very many people have real trouble getting off of them. So uh, we've been dealing with them for a long time. We uh, have been helping people detox off of benzos uh, for quite a number of years and it's sometimes not so bad but other times it's really really difficult. They work in a part of the brain that's similar to other drugs. Uh, they calm everything down but when people come off of them they have uh, intense anxiety and insomnia and withdrawal symptoms like that. So we're going to talk about why the benzodiazepines are so addictive, how they work in the brain and uh, whether they can be useful or why you should use them, what situations they may be clinically useful, but also how you can avoid them and how you can uh, stay away from them if you've had a problem with drugs and how they intersect with all the other drugs of abuse. So feel free to come down uh, if you're in Richmond at six o'clock on Wednesday the 27th. And of course, there's more details on our Facebook page.